So this is part two of three part uh, video on tourist licenses in the Alicante province of Valencia region by Spanish Dream Property. This one actually covers the application process. As explained in the earlier video, this relates only to tourist applications in the Alicante province and is current at June 2020. This is information, not legal advice. So having found the property and fallen in love with it, the first thing to do is to check that it will comply with the requirements to obtain a tourist license and that involves room sizes. There are three grades um, and for standard grade properties, the main bath bathroom needs to be 4.5 square metres, the kitchen five square metres and the lounge living area 14 square meters as a minimum. What's strange is you can live in a property whose rooms are smaller than that, but you can't holiday in a property with rooms smaller than that. And the bathroom size in particular has been a cause of quite a few properties being unable to get their license. 4.5 square meters just for people in the UK is around 48, 49 square feet. Now, the bedrooms also have to be a minimum size. Again, on standard properties, the master bedroom needs to be at least 10 square metres. Any other double room or twin room needs to be um, eight square metres and a single room needs to be a minimum of six square metres. So just because you can put a set of bunk beds in a room doesn't mean two people can legally sleep in that room for holiday purposes. Now for higher categories, these room sizes do get larger. If the property is on the fourth floor or above, it must be serviced by a lift and all properties require an ECP, which is an energy certificate that must have been done within the last 10 years. So if it's older than that, you will need a new one. All three categories require a full kitchen, an electrical supply, uh, with a fuse box that is just for that property and they should have heating and electrical points in all rooms. Higher categories also require air conditioning, a safe, access to a pool unless it's front line to a beach, they require internet access, but all grades must be fully equipped. That includes all the crockery and cutlery and cooking equipment, bed linen and towels for use in the house. Safety equipment that you will need includes smoke alarms, fire extinguisher, carbon monoxide detectors, a fire evacuation plan um, which must be displayed, cooker hood extractor and multilingual uh, emergency telephone numbers must be provided in the information pack. You also need to provide a copy of community rules if it's the property is on a community. Now to obtain the license, first you need your compatibility certificate as I explained in the previous video. That's only been relevant since June 2018. How long it takes to get your compatibility certificate from your town hall, your local town hall, does depend on that particular town hall. Unfortunately, it really is a postcode lottery. Some will take a few weeks, some will take 18 months or more. So it's very important when you find the house that you want that your solicitor checks the current um, licensing compatibility certificate processes at your local town hall to check that A, they are issuing it for the, that community where you have found your property or that road and how long getting that certificate of compatibility will actually take. As I said, the current ones for each town hall can be very, very different. So get your solicitor to do an up-to-date check before you hand over your deposit. In the past, there were properties where part of the building was let out, usually an, an underbuild, um, which had been converted into a basement apartment. Now, most of those basement apartments, those underbuild rooms will not qualify for a tourist license often because of the ceiling height being too low or the windows being too small or the fact that the electrical supply is shared with the house. Um, but the, often the reason is simply that legally those, those rooms don't exist. They are storerooms on the, on the deeds, on the escritura. 
So if that conversion hasn't been done with the appropriate planning permissions, those rooms don't exist, so there's no way you can get a license to let them out. So if you're looking at a property that's been divided into, again, before you pay your deposit over, checks need to be made that that division has been done legally and that it's been done in such a way that you will be able to, able to obtain your tourist license on half of the building. Now, once you've got your Town Hall Certificate of Compatibility, um, it's really straightforward. That certificate, together with various other documents, are sent off to the Office of Tourism in Alicante with your application form. That can be downloaded. I filled it in ourselves when we, got, uh, when we did ours. Um, with your uh, um, energy certificate and a couple of other things, it does list what you need, but uh, easy to get hold of your habitation certificate, that sort of thing. Um, you, you can do that yourself or you can pay somebody to do it for you for a small fee, which if you're not in Spain is probably the best way to do it because they can check everything over, check it's um, all been completed correctly and then it's no sort of hold ups on the application. So once you've got your license, you are ready to get legal. But that is not just what you need. But you can at least now start advertising your property because in Valencia, it is not permitted to advertise your property without the license. So you can now start advertising, but you're not quite there yet to be fully legal. I'll cover that in video three.